Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And uh, yeah, I realized I got a little hasty when I was putting all this stuff together. I was just sort of slapping it down everywhere, not realizing I had all this space to go around. And uh, and I also completely overlooked the fact that I could actually make foundations. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do right now is I want to do have this limestone deposit here. I've been gathering a little bit. I do have some concrete, so I want to get this going. But this is going to be top priority. Uh, what I want to basically try to get done in this episode is I want to try to get some organization going on, get some proper, you know, zones, we'll call it. Like, I'm thinking about having all the smelters over here, and then from there, I haven't decided if I want to go, like, like, little factories. One doing, let's say, wires, which go to another factory, which makes cables, which goes to another factory to make whatever it needs to be needs to be made with those but anyways uh yeah so let's go ahead and uh first let's get this thing out of the way and drop a miner down may as well pick you up and scratch the back over my neck and go ahead and place a miner down now hopefully i have enough stuff on me i think i do all right now let's uh i'm gonna try to keep this all situated fairly close because then i plan on uh put it into a container and just take it somewhere else. All right, so I have placed a foundation on here. And let's go ahead and try to get some alignment going. Is this actually going to line up with that? Am I going to get that green mark? No, I won't. But anyway, so we'll go ahead and place four foundations down. I'll, again, I love the building mechanic in this. So this is going to be limestone coming out of limestone. is going to be going into a constructor. Now we'll go ahead and build one of those. Let's see how this lines up on here, because I've never actually used these before. And like I said, usually when I'm watching my videos, I'm not necessarily paying attention 100%. Let's see if we can actually get it right on here. That seems good. And... I'm just... I'm actually thinking about this. I was thinking about having like the constructor. Oh, this is, this is just going into a container, so this should be okay. I probably don't even need all that all that concrete there. So we'll do that. We'll grab a container. Now I got to remember the right mouse button to get back there. I always forget about that. And that would be an organization, small storage. And yes, this is a small storage. Oh, so much better. Yeah, so we're going to do that from now on, and I should have some plates on me, get conveyors going, make sure I have those going the right way, and we go from here to there. Alright, let me grab this back, and this, so that is a uh, concrete, let's actually get this connected to the grid while we're here, and uh, where do I have power? I got power somewhere. I think I'm going to have to place a pole up here, uh, somewhere. I made myself a little elevator too, a little uh, conveyor line. All right, so we want to get to here. So iron rods. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again. And that's why I put that here, so I don't have to run all the way around there, try to find the right rock to jump off of and stuff like that. Uh, I also want to get the hub moved up here because we do gotta get this space elevator in uh, soon, anyways. So this is just going to go right here, power line, connect you to there, you to there, and you should be on the hub somewhere. You do not have a connection. Hmm. Well, all these are going to be moved anyways. So get rid of that, and we'll just hook you up to there. Eh, oops, that's the wrong button again. That's going to get me a limestone. We're going to set you to make concrete. Done. Next. Uh, I want to get something going for the fuel, too. This actually might be a good area for it, like the, the biofuel. And that's going to be two, two constructors going together into a storage. So let's go ahead and get some more foundation going. Let's... Uh, yeah, I know this is going to be temporary until I start getting into coal and uh, down the road we're going to get, be getting fuel generators and stuff like that. And basically this is going to be two containers going in, uh, one container going into two constructors going into another container. Fairly simple stuff, so 
Let's uh, get the output here. Let's actually see what I'm doing here. And like so. Then I want it to instructor. Again, right mouse button, right mouse button. I've got to remind myself about a million times. And we rotate it like so. And I can't see the corner. There. All right. A little bit more concrete. Oh, that's in the way. That is fine. Uh, it is overhanging a little bit. Okay, like so. And then we go over here. And I'm gonna have to get rid of my. Gonna have to get rid of my elevator. I have no idea what I just did. Okay, I wasn't sure if it went away or not. All right, so let's. Uh, no, let's. Yeah, that's what I want. I have to put more foundations down. In the right spot, please. Oh, it is too. Okay. I was confused by the hitbox of the constructor. Ha ha ha. Alright, and then we'll get another constructor in here. Again, right mouse button. It's gonna take me a, a year to figure that one out. And. I wonder if that would be a smart idea. Of course not. I did it. And I actually, you know what? I think this might work. It's just gonna be making biofuel, anyways. We'll throw another one there. Oh, yes. Uh, right mouse button, right mouse button. I know it's gonna. I'll get it eventually. And then this one is gonna go like. So. It's gonna be a ring around the rosy kind of deal. This is the input, that's the output. So. That goes into there, and I'm actually realizing now that this isn't. This is only going to have one recipe. So basically, I only put leaves in here. All right, now I can get out of here. See, I can only choose either leaves or wood. And since I'm, I can probably get more leaves anyways. We'll do that. And then this will be set to, nope, that'll be biofuel. And this will just fill up the biofuel. All I have to do is just dump all my leaves in here. And that should work. I probably could get a second one going. Look at that, they're coming out in little blocks. That's cool. A uh, second one set up for the wood and then have like a conveyor merger. Or it has to be a smart conveyor. Whatever. I'll figure it out. So that's that. Let's get uh, that power going. Actually, that doesn't matter. Let's uh, start paving the way here. Uh, what do I have for inventory space? Uh, not much. I was going to put a small storage box here somewhere. Somewhere I won't lose it because I have all these ores in my, in my inventory and I can't even get rid of them. Well, I, I can. I just got to set up another smelter for it, but I'm too lazy for that. Uh, that was the days when I used to do things by hand, right? Uh, okay, there's some more ingots there. Alright. Let's tear it all down. I hope I had high inventory space for this. <laughs> and I just built it all too. What a shame. Oh well. At least it's easy. Well, I'm going to have to do some work here and I will bring you back. Actually, you know what? Since I'm, I'm getting all this stuff in my inventory anyways, we might as well do a couple of uh, upgrades while we can. Unlock a few more things while we're at it, since we've got all this stuff being produced and i got to find a place to stick it anyways. So we'll run over here and see what we got. I have no idea what the next one is. I think the last thing I did was a paint gun and I haven't even played with that yet. Alright, conveyor walls. Could do that just to get the stuff out of my inventory. All right, rods, wire, and plates. Hit the button. There we go. All right. So anyways, uh, back to dismantling. Okay, the pod's back. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, don't mind the noise in the background. My neighbor is doing a little bit of uh, springtime housework. So anyways, so what is that? We have that. We have jump pads and walkways. 
Let's well, do the walkways just because we can. So do 150 rods, 150 plates, and 10 reinforced frames. Reinforced iron plates. Alright, so we get that, and we have another uh, four minutes for that. So I'm going to continue going because my inventory is an absolute mess. One thing I do like is that they're actually, uh... Can now be in the build menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing I do like is, uh, the containers. Uh, if you don't have the inventory space for something and you dismantle something, you get these storage bins, these official fix-it storage containers. And so they're just, like, basically persistent storage so you don't lose stuff that you don't have room for. Anyway. Alright, pod has returned. So, I believe... I believe I did not want to do that. Not yet, anyways. Uh, just because the amount of stuff I have in that storage box, I won't be able to fit. do. So now I need to just need to get 200 iron rods. And I think I have the rods right here. Alright, I think that's everything except for the, the object scanners. And then uh, we're held up with the uh, space elevator. Yes. Uh, I don't know if I have enough for it. I wouldn't be surprised if I did, and I would not be surprised if I didn't. But anyways, that is that. And that is going to be another four minutes. So anyways, let's go and grab some... Yes, let's go grab some concrete. So I do have everything more or less out of the way except for the storages. Uh, let's go see how this thing has been doing, to be honest. And I gotta do a quick recording check. That's not it. Okay, yes. We are recording. That is good. Ah, I actually forgot I had storage here, too. Oh, yeah, that's the... That's not the concrete. That's the biomass. Not bad. Okay, so uh, I was thinking about moving the, the the burners, but I think I might leave them there for now. Uh, we will have to definitely upgrade, but I'm definitely going to go ahead with this being the sm smelter area here. Grab that and that. Because uh, I do want to move the hub. I took all the conveyors out too, so we're probably going to end up doing that. Uh, we'll wait till the last upgrade comes before we do that. Uh, almost do want to get these on pavement now. Hmm. What do we have over here? Don't really need power for anything at the moment. I think I have power in the hub, so we can dismantle this. And then we'll lay it down on some pavement. So it's a little more organized. Okay, and let's see here. Let's go like uh, right about there. Now, I'm wondering, does it only snap to the actual thing? Oh, that makes building so much easier. So you don't have to worry about it being offset like a couple of inches or whatever. You just more or less point, point and click. Awesome. Idiot proof. No, not down there. Why do these things always happen when I, when I say it? Maybe I gotta stop talking. Just play the games. Shut up. I don't have to make myself look like an idiot. Okay. And... You want a biomass burner? Uh, this is actually a pretty big footprint now that I think about it. Sure, we'll go that way. One. Let's see how many we get here. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. And hopefully that's enough. Uh, I can always put a, another row here. That is not a problem. So we'll just grab the poles. Hmm. Sure, let's get the poles right in front of everything. Just because. One there. And I'll go every third. Actually, that's not centered. Let's center it, just because. Enough, anyways. Okay, we'll put another pole here. I'm doing every three because you can only connect power to 
four items with these poles anyways. Let me go down here, we connect you to there, there, and, and there. And you can connect to the grid. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That makes sense. So then I have to get another pole over here. Now I'll do this, put it right there. There. To there, there, to there. And now I can go over there. So that is that. Now for... I do have to move those lines eventually. For the smelters, sort of want to have, like I said, the smelter, smelter row here. So we're going to have a whole line of smelters. I'm not going to be using them all right away, but they're going to be there anyways. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to go one more. Just because. I haven't done too many, too many scans. I have looked around. I haven't found anything particularly close or in this direction, but I'm sure we'll find something down the road as it comes and as we need it. Okay, so we go to smelters. And same thing like so, we're just going to line up next to each other. That's what makes the things like this hard for being like tightly efficient, is be just because they're actual different sizes. And I really should move that one back, just for organization purposes. And yeah, okay. But you get the gif, so I'm going to get these set up and wired up and I'll bring it back. Okay, so I got basically everything taken care of, and I think it's time to actually move the hub, the hub here now. I should have enough inventory space for everything. I do. Alright, now let's just hope I can actually build the thing again. Actually, let's get rid of these nasty, ugly telephone poles here, or power poles, or whatever. Right, get that one, and that one, and... Yeah, I don't know how big the how much bigger the hub gets, but I think this would be a good spot for it. So let's go ahead here and see what we get. Okay, the burners are on that side. So then that means the ship's on the other. And there is MAM. The research area. Is there a way to Yeah, it's I was hoping I'd be able to get more fine tuning on the rotation, but I think that should do it. Good, it's the same hub, hub I took apart. Then I can go back in here and I probably put the the workbench in here. I don't know, maybe I can go further up. Let's do that. Let's try that just because we can. Because I'd like to have as much room for these conveyors as possible. Like I can build it right into the rocks too. And that's early access for you. Yeah. Perfect. So then we can stand here and actually see everything. And why are you showing me this again? It's like I've built it for the first time. Okay, so now conveyors. So I have the copper line there. Uh, I was looking at the how well the the smelters were working, they were actually working good enough where, you know what I mean, there was backlog on the, the rod line, but the plate line was moving okay. So, but anyways, how do I want to do this now? Like, I don't think I have the conveyor ladders yet, do I? No, just the poles. And the poles don't snap either. Well, they snap on pavement, that's for sure. And that might actually be a good idea. I'll go ahead here and uh, get some concrete first. Okay, so ideally, I would like to have them running side by side. I know we'll be able to do that with the ladders when the time comes. So let's do a head, go ahead and put a couple of foundations here. And then we're going to put some conveyor poles on. Oh, that's close. That was one off. And that way we can get them a little more compact. And let's do one there. Go up so we can actually walk underneath it. That's weird how I can put it right here. 
really. Anyway, do it like that and like so. Right, go to conveyors now. So, are you actually going to build a spiral your way up there? Yes, you are. Are you able to go up there? Yes, you are. Now, are you going to be able to make it without having issues? No. That's fine. So, we'll go ahead and grab another conveyor pole. And let's see here. Do something like that. And conveyor, yes. Okay, and come on. There you go. So now we all merging together. Now it's a matter of getting them all to turn and go down towards the smelters. So let me get something worked out and I shall return. Alright, so there we go. Everything works out for the most part. I had to actually have the foundation separate to get the right angle because it would only do 90 degrees. But it works. Uh, if I ever do get the tractor, I don't think I'll be driving underneath here, that's for sure. But so now, now we got to go on from here. So I've got the copper going to the first one here. I'm make sure this is still doing copper. Eight, uh, set to copper. And then the other two are going to be for iron. Iron and iron. So now. How do I want to do this? I guess it means I got all this area to work with, and it's just a matter of figuring out where I want to put everything. Like, I know I can do logistical stuff, conveyors, and trucks, and all that stuff to move stuff around, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't know what I'm going to do with this place. Am I out of space? No, I'm not. What's in there? Oh, I could use those cables. <laughs> Definitely use those cables. So, yeah, so now where would I go then? Uh, how am I doing for concrete? Not much. Uh, let me clear my inventory and f see if I can actually plan what I'm doing. Because I got the copper on this side here, I might even go and set up in here. And I might do that. Uh, let's actually go do, deal with that chainsaw. Just because I haven't actually built the thing yet. I think I make that over here. Which I was going to move, but... Eh. I don't know how often I'll be coming here anyways. Uh, the Mark II mine, I don't know what we actually need for that. So I just need reinforced plates. Okay, I should have those down here. Now let me get those. And now we can make a chainsaw. We can actually make six of them if we, six of them if we really wanted to. But I don't need six. And, oh, don't tell me I actually waste that. Oh, that's not what I want. Come on. No, yeah, tap. <laughs> Oh, yes, I need fuel, don't I? I have fuel. That's fine. Ha ha. Goodbye, nature. Ah, it does give leaves. Okay, that's good. I'm going to leave that one because that is... It is fruits or food. I thought it said no, in, no space in inventory. Uh, there we go. Killing two birds with one stone. We're clearing an eyesore and we're getting fuel. Alright, what's in here? Uh, let's rest those wires. Okay, so we can uh, put that away. I said we can put that away. There we go. Alright, so I can put all the wooden stuff in there so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get the, the copper line going here I think and let's see here so what am I gonna need I'm gonna need three constructors uh, let's do a, let's do a three by three and see if that's enough room for us or for me well, I'll need room for storage as well and let's see Production, constructor, no, it's not an assembler, not an assembler, not yet anyways. Okay, let's see, input is there, and let's 
That should be it, sure. And then I'll put a second one right next to it. And then this one is going to go fed right into another constructor. And I'm assuming I can get conveyors in there. Yes, I can. Good. Now, I'm going to have these two come out and they're going to go into a storage. So let's get some more foundation down. And what did the storage take? Was it one or two tiles? Uh, it's a little over two tiles. Because I got that one there too. Oh, I heard a click, but I didn't see no building. All right, container. I'll do. Uh, I would like to have the containers like this. And maybe, you know what, let's actually put them right here. That makes sense. Get rid of those. And back up here with some containers. I almost might want to hotkey these. Just because. Okay. I want, I want to be able to see more, that's what I want. That's where that jetpack's gonna come in handy. Building on the jetpack. Okay, one there, and we'll do another one there. Alright, conveyors. I'll connect you to there. You to there. I hope that did connect. Okay, you will be... You will be set to cable, you will be set to wire, you will be set to wire. And now, now for the piece to resist on here, conveyor splitter. Which is somewhere in here. As soon as I can find it, there we go. Now, let's, let's be smart about this. Let's actually get some foundations down. Okay, that did connect. Uh, just, beca just because it's overhanging, I'll do that. Oh, I'm out of concrete. What do you know? And I would have a lot more concrete if I actually had power running right now. Oh, wait. We got some in here. One of these magical boxes. Uh, apparently not. All right, excuse me, I'll be right back. Oh, there was a little bit in here. I actually forgot, completely forgot about that. Okay, now, go in here. Sorry about that, that was not me. And, was it in here that I wanted to put it? No, was it here? You know what? For symmetry purposes, we'll do it. To grab that too, and I hope that doesn't grow back. And what was it? That conveyor splitter. Try to get this smack dab in the middle if I can. That's one thing I like about this game too is just about every building you build has a ladder on it. Every single machine you can climb up to the roof. That's a good game. There's part of me that says that I really should have that spot open for uh, any of the lines that may need ingots, but whatever. There and there. Okay, so all it's left to do is hook that up to the copper line. One and there. So that is running, so that's good. So now for everything else. Okay, uh, let me think about the next step. You know what? It's really quiet around here. It's time to fuel up those generators. Oh, that's the, going the wrong way. Uh, I also want to fuel up generators so I can actually get some. I thought I had more. Where did I put that other box? I had another box here somewhere. No, I have no idea where I put it now. I thought I had more biofuel than that. Oh, I know where I put it. I actually put it in the biofuel box. 
There it is. Now we'll get a couple of generators up and running so we get some stuff going. But next we're gonna I'm gonna get the rod and screw line set up. And I will take care of that as soon as I run all the way over here to get these powers connected. And get it connected, so Okay, all done. Now I'm just gonna fuel her all up. Uh, as soon as I uh, figure out my inventory here. Uh, let's see, got 320, so we'll do stacks like 50. Go 50 there, we'll split you into half. Like so, and then half again. Alright. Give you half. And. Yes, I know I'm overloaded. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm going to be dealing with that one. Not to mention the, the hab isn't powered either. And I actually have enough to do all six. Which, there we go. There it is, okay. Ah, that's better. Obviously, I'm going to have to start cutting down a whole bunch of trees and get that uh, biomass production going. Uh, it's only going to use power right now until these things fill up. Once these things fill up, they're going to... The two iron ones will shut off. The copper will keep going. Uh, I'm hoping I don't actually have a backlog on the ingots now like I did last time. Oh. 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 We're going to have a backlog now. Actually, you know what? We'll leave it. Because I want to make sure I actually have room for everything. So, I am going to need, as you can see, more concrete, but that's going to start getting produced. So, I was thinking about using this area over here. What is that? Oh, copper. It's only copper. I thought it was something I've never seen before. Okay, anyway, uh, let's get some plates down, some foundations. Fill up that hole that I just walked in. Actually... I wonder if I should go with the two by t uh, thicker foundation here. Hmm. Let's actually try to keep it going with the island a little bit if we can, or not necessarily island, the land island, the massive, massive dirt in the ground. No, I did not want you to go there. Oh, actually, you didn't. Never mind. So yeah, we'll do a probably a, th a three by three if I can actually hit the right spot. Of the bloody foundation. It's a thing with building too easy is sometimes it's too easy. And then like so. No, not there. That's what I mean. Okay, so now we're going to get some more constructors down. Uh, where are they? I think I remember where they are by now. Just like a lot of things, but I never do. Sadly. Oh, okay. uh, let's see. Try to line it up there and there. So it's going to be going into two constructors. One for rods, one for rods going into screws. Uh, might actually have that the screws on the outside. Because they're gonna have to go to an assembler to make reinforced plates. So that is that. Now we can grab some conveyors. Let's see if we can actually reach all the way here. Actually, no, we need a splitter. Let's go. Oh, what do you know? More foundations. It's an answer to everything. More concrete. And of course, I'm off my spacing. It's not me, it's the model. It doesn't line up to the foundation like it should. And you play your splitter. Do it. Uh, sure. Do it there, there. And then there, there. Let me, scoot, let me get through, let me through, let me through. There, there. Okay, you are rods, you are screws. You are but Okay, that one's done. Still gotta get that connected. 
This one I do want to actually go up a little higher, just because. I think that'll do there. We'll go ahead and place a conveyor pole, which... Hey, I got it without actually looking at the screen. Okay, and we'll actually go up a little bit with that if we can. Of course we can. So now... Grab my foundation. Actually, no, let's not worry about the foundation. We'll just have this one right on the ground here. Like so. And conveyor me, please. No, not there. Sometimes I, I, I just love the snapping of this game sometimes. And the fact that you can reach for a mile. And there to there. No, not to there. I have no idea how far that went. Let's try that again. Okay. Alright, so that is the screws. Now we got to get the plates, which I'll probably have right next to it because I think that's all we really need so let's run another constructor down nope not, not a conveyor splitter uh, constructor place you in line with the others just because we can not that I want to but I can and I need more concrete let's go see how much concrete I have it uh, should be a fair amount. At least if I have the ends of these fairly open, easily accessible, then I can always run conveyors to wherever I need be. And this is running and not as much as I wanted. That's uh, efficiency on this. So this could be running a little bit faster. Now I'll have to start hunting down some of those slugs pretty soon here I think okay so now I gotta go put the rest of the foundations on get the power hooked up and then we're gonna throw an assembler right at the end of this one you know what let's do it I'm talking about paving the whole area might as well pave the whole area while I'm at it right and doesn't mean I have to pave under the whole area. Okay. Now I can't get up. <laughs> I'm sure I can. Right here. Okay, so now I'm going to go into uh, an assembler. These screws are going to have to be split off. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep this foundation all the same. Same level, that is. I said the same level. Okay. And I'm out of concrete. <laughs> uh, I should have got that production going a lot earlier. Alright. Let's go here and see how big that assembler was. Big. Uh, very big. See, now ideally, this I'd like to have the center like right here. Floor is too steep. Yeah, because half the floor is missing. Alright, uh, anyways, while we're waiting on the concrete, let's go ahead and place another s splitter here. Okay, like that. And then one end's going to go right to the assembler, one end is going to go right into storage. And like that, go ahead and set you to plates. I did get the rest of them right. Your screws, yes you are, your screws. And you should almost have those the same, but I don't, so let me wait until this gets more. Uh, let me bring you back when I have more concrete. Okay, should have loads of concrete set up. I actually went around and gathered up a whole bunch of leaves when I get some biomass, biofuel going, but gotta get some power up to this thing. Uh, sadly, that concrete is not building up as fast as I'd like to. But either way, let's go ahead and run over here. Uh, oh, oh, what's going on here? Keyboard's being a pain. Hang on. That's better. Okay. 
do that. Oh, I should. Do I? No, I don't. Don't have enough on there. Alright, so we're going to have to come off of here then. So I'm going to place another one here. I mean, that's just because I know that I can't have too much connected onto these lines. No, that one's full, so I got to go up there. And then we'll connect you to there, and then get to that there, to that to there. And. Now I got to get these connected as well. May as well, yes, uh, there, there, and there. Now, why aren't you doing anything? Oh, you are. Okay. All right, so we're getting biofuel. Perfect. Okay, I get another. I'm going to have to get a couple of poles up here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to have. I'm going to have to put one right here for the assemblers. I still gotta get that conveyor over here. And then we're gonna have to get one over here for the assembler as well. I got those mixed up. Constructors first and then the assembler. Okay, and we'll do that. I'm gonna actually go ahead and stick a ramp here. Just because I can. As soon as I find it. Go with a four four way ramp. So I can actually place the right way so I can actually get up and down from it and I'm hoping it's facing the right way or right. I have the distance oh my god what is with me let's try this again shall we for the third time there we go now I can run up and we can place yield assembler down which of course would be in production I know that of course I know that all right. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm getting a little confused as to where this was supposed to actually go. And basically, I just want to center it in between them as best I can. It might actually be easier to do it from here. Sure. Just enough. All right, you into there, you into there. So you're making plates, you're making screws. Make sure that's set. Yes, it is. That is set, and then that's going to the assembler, which is going to be making reinforced plates. Now for power. So let me get this wired up, and I shall bring you back. Okay, that seems to be just about everything. Everything is all set up. Uh, probably won't go into storage at the moment. I probably will probably end up doing that. We'll stick a container at the end of every line. Uh, what I do need to do is find out why this iron's not producing. Uh, that one is running, I'm assuming. Does have ingots coming out. Oh, yeah, that's going to get powered. Uh, conveyor belt. No, I do not want a conveyor belt. I want a power line. Uh, that's maxed out. Hmm. Do I have one on there? No, I don't. What about there? There we go. And to there. Everything there's got power. We got automation. Good. Alright, so I got, to cook. got some biofuel going. Let's actually see how well that turned out. I think I put like 1,200 leaves in here. Oh, well, that is working. Good. And so far, we don't have power issues, but I'm sure once I find out why the other miner's not running, then we will. So let's go see what's going on here, because that's holding us up. And maybe what we'll do before we end the episode is try to get that space elevator going. So what is your problem? I know what your problem is. I took the power line off. Uh, uh, let's see here. We actually have room on there. Let's go ahead and stick you there. And the iron, let the iron roll. So I should go check our power situation, our fuel situation, but I can check the power anywhere I want, but I might as well use it as an excuse to actually see how much fuel we got left. 
it's holding up. Barely. But I'll definitely have to do some serious biomass farming after later. Actually, what do I have on here for wood? I'm gonna actually make that into biomass, so that's pretty good. Or biofuel, eventually. But let's go ahead and try see what the space elevator involves. Surprisingly, uh, well, we're gonna need concrete. Let me shore up the numbers here. Okay, I had to re move a few things around here, but I think we're all good to go. I'm just extending the platform. I may fill that in just for you know peace of mind. You know, floating back platform. So we can't have that. So I'll go ahead and do that and pave the grass just because it's there. So what I've done is I've actually set up a container for. What do we got in here? We have rods, we have screws, we have a rod uh, container over here for plates, which is filling up, and then this is going to be set to the reinforced plates. I did have to actually move it, so that's why that's like that. It would almost be worthwhile to keep it up to two levels like this. You know, I'm going to do that. Go back to the thick foundations. The only reason why I'm extending it is because I want to put a container down. And, like so, we go in here and do that. And surprisingly, it costs the exact same amount, which doesn't make any sense. Okay. Up. To go. Yes, I could just barely jump up there. Alright, and go to... No. And again, I should have right-clicked. Uh, not logistics. We want organization. Storage. And we might as well just have that popping right in the back there. And like so. Now I do have to get the power hooked back up here again. I had to take a pole out. And let's actually place the pole right here. Just yes, because we can. To connect you to that. Okay, what doesn't have power? You don't have power. Well, you can have power. And you can have power. So I do believe that is everything hooked back up. I do see a lot of green lights. One thing we are going to do before we end this is we're going to actually build that lookout tower. Actually, I was waiting on the concrete. I might actually farm that concrete up because we're going to get that space elevator. But you know what? Let me do that. Let me do a little bit of dirty work here. Okay, just let, waiting for the last little bit of concrete to come through. And I think maybe we'll go and build the watchtower first. Uh, I think I, all, all I need on me to grab is more plates, which I actually do have. Good. I don't know how many I have, but I, how many I actually need. No, oh, apparently I only need five, so. Uh, cheap watchtower, of course, because it doesn't actually make an alien. That's why it's cheap. Uh, that space elevator is not exactly the cheapest thing in the world, though. But let's actually go ahead and place it. I think this would be a perfect spot for it. Uh, depending on how big it is. There we go. Now, is there actually a way to actually see which way this goes? It's supposed to go. I'm just going to assume by the wheels it's supposed to face that way. I call them wheels because it almost looks like the little trailer fenders on wheels. Alright. Oh, there's the elevator right here. So, let's actually turn that then. Go back here and... Yes. So, oh, there's the ladder. How did I not see that? In fact, what I'll do, see if we can actually get the line up right here. I don't know how close it'll get, but it works for me. Let's go up and have a look. Let's see what we have here. Is there actually a way to configure this? Like, I saw this before. Is there, like, a launch pad or something here? Definitely nice. Can we build up here? Hmm. See if we can build a space elevator from up here. Oh, my God, we can. Just barely. Yeah, perfect spot for it. Can't afford. Hmm. Now, the question is, where would we put it? I almost want to put it, like, right there in the middle of everything. I'll figure that out when the time comes. Now we just need more concrete. Oh, this is going to hurt. See? I told you it was going to hurt. Alright, so let's go see what we have for the concrete. 
This should be all done now. Oh, get that out of here. I think I only had like 16, 16 more or something like that. And I have enough. Oh, that's not what I want. I already have one of those. What do you get? What do you get for somebody who has everything automated? More iron rods, apparently. It's a good thing I set up storage on these. So I'm wondering if maybe we should put it over there. Let's put it right over top of the toxic zone. See if we can flatten out the badness in the area. Okay. Oh my God, my legs are getting getting exercise today. Oh, that's rod. Aha! And I think. I have just enough. Perfect. Hmm. No. No, I need more plates. Good thing I'm right here. Now we should do it. Now we can do it. Now we can do it. By one plate. Hmm. Now the question is, where do we put this? Let's put it right out in the wide open here. Make sure we're not on any ore deposits we care about. I have no idea what that is, but sure. Let's do it. Just because it's big. And if we build it far away, it's an excuse to use conveyors, right? Now watch this thing come down from the sky. My God, it's the 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 planet miner from Star Trek. That's cool. I've never actually really seen that. It's basically basically what it is. It's a cable. It's coming down all slack, and then I guess the the weight creates attention. Pretty cool. Well, at least we're not in his flight path. Not that it matters. Oh, jeez, I'm lost. I'm lost in the bushes. Alright, so that is a sp space elevator. Cool. So that actually unlocks new upgrades in the hub, which we will get to in just a moment. Alright, so... Oh, I gotta do the space elevator phase. Alright, let's go check it out. I had to put it all over here, did I? Of course I did. Okay, what do you want? Alright, 50 rotors and 75 reinforced frames. So I think the next one we're going to have to get to in the next episode is making uh, rotors. Uh, that's going to be the next automation part there. Since we have everything set up, it should be fairly simple to get this mass produced. Once I look, get more, get more iron or miners down, that is. But with that... I right, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.